How's this for a snake? The Pilbara olive python, one of Australia's largest snakes. These things are big, they're heavy, and they're taking things like wallabies down for lunch. So just get a load of that. So in front of me here is the Pilbara Olive Park. We're in the Pilbara now, searching for one of Australia's biggest snakes, the Pilbara olive python. These guys get big, over four meters. We're searching through all these escarpments, trying to find fresh water. It's hot, it's dry. We're in Western Australia at the start of summer, so conditions are pretty harsh, but there's some amazing wildlife out here. Can you get stuck into it? And let's see if we can find this massive snake. So I was doing some reading up on these snakes and although typically they'll hang around a body of water and, and use that as an ambush point for trying to get prey, they do move around a bit. And there was a study done out here where they tracked the Pilbara olive python and some of them I think moved, you know, four k's over a period of time. But each time they tracked them they were in different spots moving it throughout these big rocky piles so it's going to be a bit a bit harder than I thought to find them it's also been pretty difficult to find fresh water but we'll see how we go How's this? A pygmy python. Not only the smallest snake in Australia, or smallest python, I should say, not snake, but the smallest python on the entire planet. These guys don't get too much bigger than this. They max out at about 60 centimeters in the Antares genus. And they pretty much feed primarily on lizards, definitely big reptile eaters. So they sit out in ambush. Oh, I'm getting ambushed by ants right now. Sit out in ambush, lying and waiting, and then bang, grab onto an unsuspecting gecko or skink. These guys are also known as ant hill or ant mound snakes, because what they do is sit at the base of an ant mound or something like that, and just wait there in ambush for things that are gonna be feeding on those bugs. And the pygmy python is well known in the Pilbara. And we're actually out here looking for the Pilbara olive, one of the biggest and heaviest snakes in Australia. How good's that? Pilbara olive. 
So in front of me here is the Pilbara olive python. We've come out into the Pilbara pretty much just searching for this animal. This is the third largest snake in Australia, or third longest, arguably the second largest. These things are rumored to get over five meters long. They're big, bulky snakes. They sit in ambush and eat things like wallabies, oh, euros, big, big marsupials that you get out here. And like the environment we're in is insane. It's so dry, it's tough, it's hard going. Olive pythons up north are living in tropical, really wet habitats. And then you've got this subspecies that just inhabits these insane red Pilbara rock escarpments. And oh, I didn't know if we were gonna see one because it is just so dry in this spot. I knew they were here. It was just a matter of finding the right habitat. And we've, we've done it, we've come across one. It looks big from here. You can imagine one twice the size. I think they've, they've only been recorded up around four meters, but I believe one getting bigger for sure. Let's go get a closer look. So what he's doing here is lying on a game trail oh. in ambush, waiting for something to cruise past and grab on and then he would wrap it up. What I'm gonna do is try and lie next to this guy so we get an idea of how big he is. This is a dream species for me to find. He knows I'm here, he's got some heat sensing pits in that lower part of the mouth. There's a classic photo of one of these guys in uh, one of the big national parks here in one of the gorges, draped along the escarpment, hanging onto a euro, a marsupial, like a wallaby. It's massive. And ever since I saw that photo as a kid, I just had to get out here to find one. And we've done it. You just can't beat walking around on foot in these places and finding animals like this. That's what it's all about, just getting out there. How good. We continued to watch this snake working its way through the landscape flicking its tongue, taking in scents, and searching. We didn't interfere with him, we just watched him. He didn't seem to mind we were there as he climbed up into this tree. These guys will take down birds, bats, and marsupials up in the trees. It's most likely he was hunting, looking for an easy meal like a roosting bird. Look at the strength as he pulls himself up. No worries at all. Most snakes are pretty comfortable climbing, but olive pythons are known for going up into the trees frequently in search of a meal. might have uh, underestimated the size of him. This thing's got to be three metres plus. He's stretched out on this branch now. And he's just insane. Look at the length of that. That's huge. Look at the dry, how dry it's been here. He's obviously not too thick. Everything's going pretty tough, but what he lacks in uh, girth, he makes up for in length, that's for sure. <laughs> he 
He came down from the tree and began searching for a new spot to lie and wait. He was super curious, but never defensive or striking. I think he knew we weren't out to get him. So we've been watching this animal for close to an hour now. And he's put on an absolute show for us. He's climbed a tree, stretched himself out so he could get a measurement. And now he's curled up in the perfect pose for photos. Normally, like wild animals, it never goes this way, but this guy's been an absolute treat. I'm gonna leave him now. Let him do his thing, let him hunt. He definitely needs a meal, but it's been a pleasure. The Pilbara Olive Python, one I'll never forget. This is why we do it. This is why we get out of here. On to the next one.